There's new management in Chicago, so let's head down there. Let's see the changes implemented by this big brain over here, boys, because anything's got to be better than how Beetlejuice was running the place. Oh, wait, hell no. Place is crazier than ever. <laughs> this place is, look at this, is Mother of the Year, boys. Mother, do we got any more of those Mother of the Year ribbons? Or birthing person of the year ribbons? <laughs> Look at this crazy dog that says, oh my god. <laughs> Dude. What in the world could possibly be worth spending the rest of your life in jail and the rest of your child's life in jail at a hot dog joint? <laughs> I want a mustard on that motherfucker. How dare you put ketchup on it. I'm going to beat you up. And then in, uh, during this fight, I'm going to then text my son to come down here and shoot you. Because that's what happened. <laughs> that's what Post-millennial, Chicago mother instructed 14-year-old son to shoot man after altercation at a hot dog stand. After Hood's son came into the store entrance, he then shot the man multiple times. Witnesses were allegedly laughing and encouraging the incident while it was occurring. How good are these fucking hot dogs that you're watching a dude being murdered going... <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. No! Oh, they're Polish boys. Come on, Polish hot dogs. It's a joke in there somewhere. Anyhow. <sighs> yeah, no, the biggest threat, clearly, to the black people in Chicago, Jesse Smollett, white supremacist, right? All right. So are we going to continue to allow this dumb narrative to be pushed? Because I don't think it's white supremacists that are the biggest threat to black people in Chicago. Call me crazy. Look at this. So uh, this woman right here gets into a fight with some dude in this Maxwell Street Express hot dog, Polish hot dog joint. The dude punches her in the head. So she texts her son to get down there and shoot this dude. So her son comes down, blasts the dude. And by the way, there's video of this because there's security camera footage. I can't wait to watch this. Shoots the dude. The dude then makes it out of the, the hot dog joint. And the mom says, yo, 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 son. Go finish him off. Now, you've already shot this dude a bunch of times. But he might live. And we can't have that. All right. Not during a hot dog disagreement. Now go out there and hamburgerize him. So the 14-year-old. Goes out there and then puts some more bullets into the dude. Kills him on the sidewalk of this fucking establishment. Then goes back inside. The mom says, that son of a bitch over there is laughing at me. When I was punched in the head, he laughed at me. Shoot him too. I Damn. 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 Putin, you got any more of the hypersonic missiles? Because there is no fix in Chicago at this point. Can we get some climate change in Chicago? Some localized meteorological oddity. Climate change right there. No? Anything? A flood? Jesus? Come on, brother. Hey, this is... There's no, there's no political solution to this. This is a Democrat-run, supermajority shithole. And it ain't going to change anytime soon. Here, you've just replaced that dipshit Beetlejuice looking moron who's got eyes like Admiral motherfucking Akbar. And you're not going to stem any of this. This is a trajectory that nobody's going to fix. Because you're never going to have legitimate elections over here. So you're not going to get anybody outside of criminality to run this place. Allegedly. So the kid won't shoot the witness. Thank God. The, kid will the mom then fights with the kid. She tries to grab the gun from the kid's hand so she could do this mess herself and kill the witness. The kid overpowers her, which is stunning because I was told that women's just as strong as men, but here this 32-year-old gangster chick can't overpower a, a teenager, a 14-year-old boy for that gun. So they're only going to face one murder at this point instead of two. So stupid. What a, what a fucking mess. Look at this. She tried to get the son to kill. According to court documents and video surveillance of the incident, Hood also tried to tell her son to shoot one of the witnesses who was allegedly laughing at her during this altercation. 
They then jump back into... Uh, is the 14-year-old driving, by the way? They jump into the car and uh, peel off, but there you go. Chicago boys, not even once. Not even once. Get the hell out of the Democrat-run cities. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching the video supporting the channel. If you want to be kept up to date with the scourge known as white supremacy threatening indigenous lesbian BIPOCs in all of Chicago, hit that subscribe button and make way because the salt must flow.